This is verse 18 of the sixth chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus has fed the 5,000, and then he's sent his disciples off to Capernaum. And, of course, he has stayed behind, and John told us earlier that he remained in the mountain to pray. Uh, the trip to Capernaum would actually lead the disciples more or less across, uh, along the coastline, and thus uh, the disciples might have expected Jesus to catch up with them or walk along the shore and somehow uh, make his appearance known, but of course nothing like that had happened. And so we hear that they are in the boat, the darkness has come on, that uh, the ha Jesus has not yet appeared uh, to them or caught up with them. And then we have this interesting detail that makes the story somewhat more dramatic when we hear that uh, hey, this is the article, it has an accent here which is normally not present, but because it precedes an enclitic, the, the, the particle there, te, can mean and, and so and, the, thalassa, the sea, and then the verb in this sentence is down here, diagerito. This is from diagairo. Agairo means to raise up. The dia at the beginning is the preposition that means through, but taken together it means the idea of being aroused, being uh, brought into a state of some high degree of uh, energetic expression, that idea. Uh, in this case, it's the third person singular uh, imperfect passive indicative, and so the C is being uh, raised up, uh, made tumultuous, made uh, uh, stormy, you might say, and then the reason for it are these three words, all of which are in the uh, genitive, and so it's a genitive of expl an explanation, you might say, or uh, giving the reason for it. We have anemu, uh, anemos is the word for wind, and then magalu, so this adjective is describing the wind. It's a great wind, it's a uh, fierce wind, you might say, and then pneontos, this is from pneo, which means to blow. The word pneuma, of course, is related to this. This is really the verb form of that same word. And so a great wind was blowing. So the sea is being raised up, is being aroused, is being made tempestuous. And it's doing so by reason of this great wind that is blowing. And so now the uh, little trip that was supposed to take place with the disciples traveling to Capernaum has become something of a crisis as they're now caught in this storm.